I am back again and today as you can see I'm in a slightly different environment and that's because I'm back in my apartment in New York just for the weekend and then we're gonna go back to Jersey Shore um, Cape May where I was before but anyway, I thought while I was here, I would film a um, handbag collection video because, you know, who knows when I'll be back here full time due to the coronavirus. So um, if you're interested in taking a look at my handbag collection, keep watching. And for those of you who are new here um, and you're interested in luxury shopping, <laughs> uh, anything like that, then go ahead and subscribe, I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, let's get started. The first bag I have with me here is this um, Chanel briefcase. Um, and this I actually bought vintage and I had it was a period of time where I was selling it and I'm still not opposed to selling it but um, you know I just wasn't really using it that much just because it is pretty huge I mean like compared to my size and my body like you can see how large this is and um, I'll also add some photos in my of me wearing this bag on Instagram so you can kind of check it out and see you know it is a really beautiful beautiful bag um, I just wasn't wearing it too much and um, because of the chain you can only kind of carry it this way and not over your shoulder but then all of a sudden I was like you know what let me take it out and I kind of just fell back in love with it the second bag I have here is my um, Dior uh, all black. I think it's like a Ja Dior. Like it's pretty small. It's a mini size and um, it's really cool because it has all of these like black um, woven leather and then it has the um, logo in black as well. So it's a little understated and I do really really love this bag it's super easy to match with anything and I put like a little my Dior like headscarf I think that's what it's called up here so I can carry it kind of like that instead of just using the long strap and this I got like pretty recently I think last year or so um, and yeah I've been I've definitely been wearing this guy it's super hardy too it's really I don't know what the material is to be honest but uh, whatever the material is, it's super, super hard wearing. Like you literally can like scratch it and it's completely fine. The third bag I'm going to show you guys is this Chanel um, vanity case. And this is in the mini size, small or mini. But anyway, like this bag, unfortunately it doesn't hold too too much because as you can see they're kind of like separated into two compartments here so you can't really like fit anything that's like too bulky inside but um this i got in paris when i was there last year and i just was like you know what let me ask because this was sold out in the u.s for a while and i didn't see it anywhere i wanted it for a while and then I when I was in Paris I was like let me just ask you know they may have it so when I asked she was like yeah we actually do have one left and I was like all right <laughs> I'm gonna get it so this baby is definitely super fresh to me um, I love it and I just feel like it's so classy and classic I'll also like insert a picture of me wearing it um, but yeah okay the fourth guy is <laughs> this that you guys have seen probably in my previous video um, when I'm talking about investment pieces under 500. It's actually like this, <laughs> but I don't love the flowers. I like bought it just to wear it like this, to be honest. This is a really nice bag too. It's super easy. It's one of those that I'm just, I bought it on an impulse and it was a good deal. So I wanted to 
um, add it to my collection. So yeah, it's a vintage little Dior guy and very versatile. I ha I just got this, so I haven't worn it super, super much yet, but I'm definitely planning to. This time I changed, I switched up my game and brought two bags down with me, so hopefully this will go through faster. Um, the fifth bag I have here is um, my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs. This bag has gone through so much with me. Like, I brought it on multiple trips. I brought it out in the snow. It's been through a lot, and I do think I'm. this is gonna stay in my collection for a long, long time. Just because even though it's like a backpack and it's quite a specific style, it's super, super versatile just because of the classic monogram print and um, the fact that it's super hard wearing it fits way more than it looks and um, I do like that the straps are black compared to the normal like beigey strap um, the Vachetta is I think is what it's called right. now the sixth bag um, is this little mini Louis Vuitton uh, mini speedy and uh, this is a vintage one but it was in a really really well kept condition this I got from a Japanese seller and it does come with a um, strap, like a longer shoulder strap. And um, it's honestly, I love it so much. Way more than I thought I would. Like I bought it because I was like, yeah, I mean, I, I wanted like tiny little mini bag. And I don't have that many Louis Vuitton items. Um, so I wanted to add an extra one because I was using my Palm Springs a lot. So I thought, you know, let me get a different one, a different style. If you guys can um, get your hands on a, you know, mini LV Nano, I think the new ones on the LV website, it's called like the Speedy Nano. Um, that is a little bit bigger and it's still a really good price, like 1100 or something like that. If you can get your hands on those or any vintage ones like this size, the slightly smaller ones, um, I would say 100% go for it. I, I love this bag so much. The next bag I have here is a Alexander McQueen clutch and this is a really really special piece, it's beautiful um, and I've used it for dinners and stuff but to be honest I haven't used it as much as I thought I would. Obviously it does not fit a phone. So it's a really, really small bag. It's really structured as well. So you can't fit that much into it. And this bag, I'm actually thinking of selling it um, and maybe getting like a different McQueen one in its place. And yeah, if anyone's interested in getting this baby off my hands, let me know too. The next bag I have with me is the this Diorama. And it's in a really cool um, neon yellow, which I typically don't go for, but I don't know, for whatever reason, I was just so drawn to this. I think it's like the shape of it, how simple it is. People who are not into fashion, they won't know this is a branded bag. They won't know it's Dior. Um, so I do think it's really cool for being an understated bag and um, it's very roomy as well. So I picked out like a more interesting color just because the design was very simple. Next up is this Prada uh, Safiano. I think it's Promenade is what they call it, tote. The reason why I've kept this bag for so long, I haven't worn it, is because I love the color. I definitely wish I bought it in like the in one size down, but when I bought it, it was like, I wanna say, five years ago at least this bag um they didn't have it in that size yet this was the smallest size they had and um it didn't seem that big at that at that time but now i barely ever wear this but i do love its color so i've just been like hanging on to it for the longest time the next bag i have here is this vintage hermes kelly and this is in the box leather and this is the return in size 28 um, this bag is again like bigger than what I would wear but it's such a classic I don't think I'll ever get rid of it um, this is something that I'm gonna pass down to my children I've brought it to Hermes already to get the leather serviced 
um, and it definitely looked a little bit better than when I when I first got it. It was a little bit um, rough around edges in just a few places, but Hermes did a really great job in like you know getting this baby fixed up. So yeah, now moving on um, is this other dior bag and this is kind of like more like a wallet on chain i want to say i love the studded detail um and i do love this color too it's like really a, it's a beautiful beautiful nude color and you can kind of double up the strap or wear it as like a crossbody i had it set up to wear as a crossbody but um again like it's super cool very beautiful um so yeah, I don't think I'll be letting this one go quite yet, but um, yeah, I definitely do recommend like these smaller bags from Dior. Like the next piece um, is this bag that again I showed in my previous collection. Um, this I got from the Real Real, and this little Prada guy is it's super easy to use super trendy now um what i do need is to get a chain for it just to dress it up a little bit i definitely would recommend um getting your hands on one of these guys and i know prada is selling um some of these like re-edition or like you know they brought back like old styles or something like that and they're super cute too so yeah, definitely check them out. I think we're on our 13th bag. Um, and let's move on to this guy, uh, this Chloe Nile bag. It's so cute. Sadly, I don't know how, but I lost the um, charm. I don't remember how I did that, but um, that's it's super sad. I got it from Essence, I believe. And I really really loved it i brought it to a couple of music festivals too and it looked super i mean super cute to be honest i still really like it but i think i want to get a different bag like a different like light gray bag i don't know now that i'm looking at it i'm like maybe i don't want to get rid of you now the next bag i have is a Parenza Schuler clutch and this 100% I've been wanting to sell. I just haven't done it. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Like what drew me to it was its color. But honestly, I just don't really use clutches that much. So, um, you know, I had this for a couple of years. I've used it, but I don't know. I just like stopped reaching for it like a couple of years back. So I think it's time for it to go to a new home. The next bag I have is one of my favorites. I've been wearing this so, so much and it's this little vintage um, Fendi baguette little bag. And um, it's small, but it actually fits way more for some strange reason. It fits my phone, it fits my um, card holder, sunglasses, lipstick. I have been really, really loving this bag a lot, using it a lot. Um, and, you know, if you guys can find any like vintage Fendi's in the market, I 100% recommend going for it. It's super easy. It just like, it's not too like in your face i don't think it's a i do think it's still pretty understated but um you know for those who know they know it's fendi okay. the next bag i have here i think this might be one of my most worn bag since i got it like years and years ago but it's this mini um square chanel and um it does fit quite a lot it's kind of deceptive and I do think it's like a perfect little bag like the strap is long I just like tied it up so that I could use it as like a little top handle because I'm kind of been obsessed with <laughs> wearing my bags like that lately but uh, yeah no this bag is definitely is like such a classic it's so beautiful um, it's definitely starting to see a little bit of like wear just because it is lambskin but I think in general, like it has held up super, super well. And I definitely think this is something that I will be keeping in my collection for a long, long time. And I think the next Chanel I'm gonna get, I wanna get the um, mini rectangular shape. Now let's move on to the bigger cousin. <laughs> and this is my Chanel Jumbo flap. And this is the, I think this is double flap, yeah. 
this is like the double flap um, design which makes it really heavy but I was looking at it like years ago like between the um, like single flap and the double flap when they still made both I don't I think they don't make both anymore and um, I kind of was more into the double flap just because it felt a little bit more like luxurious I do love this bag it's so roomy it fits so so much and again like there was a point where I felt like I wasn't really using it that much um, but I've started to like you know bring it out again and work it back into my wardrobe and I have been loving this a lot as well so yeah and this is a classic it's not going anywhere the carrier leather 100% helps too uh, I knew that with a bigger bag like that that I was 100% not gonna get the lamb skin because I would just be too too paranoid I think we are on bag number 16 <laughs> um, and that's this guy here, um, the Valentino Candy, I don't remember the name, it's Candy something, um, Candy Stud, something like that. My friend got it for me from Harrods and it's really so, so beautiful and um, I don't know, I've been using it a lot, it fits quite a bit too. I think it barely fits your phone though, even though it looks a little bigger. It hasn't really shown much wear and tear, honestly. For a white bag, I think it's pretty amazing. It kind of looks brand new. And um, yeah, I do love the shape of it. And I love this, how the handle is. The proportions of it is just correct. <laughs> so the next bag I have with me is this Fendi Peekaboo Mini. Uh, or extra small, I think, I don't remember what they call it, but it's the smallest size. It's um, pretty new, I want to say, like it came out a year plus ago. And um, it has this like part chain kind of strap, which I really, really loved. And this bag, also my friend got it for me from um, London. I was like, can you help me search and see if they have this bag there? Because I knew it was going to be cheaper in London than in New York. And she, she was like, honestly, they have like one left. Do you want it? I'm like, yes, get it. So um, that's how this baby came to my collection. Right, so the next bag I have with me is quite a large one. And um, this is my Celine mini luggage. And this one I actually do know the sizes because I have the micro one too, which I'm selling and I've put it away. So, you know, I didn't want to bring that out. But this mini I'm going to be keeping with me for a while just because it's really sturdy. Um, I just like the only thing that I'll say is that the straps tend to like flop around so that's why I'm tie I've tied it together with like a Chanel bow but um, in general what I use this for typically is um, when I used to work in more of a formal office and now I don't so I don't really bring it to work anymore but I still bring it for traveling because I'll put like you know a couple of my mini bags that I'm gonna bring in here and I'll bring it onto the plane with me as a carry-on next bag is this uh, Chanel Divine bag and this I also got from the real real clearly I shop there a lot um, but this bag I've been wearing a lot over the lot I got it last year and I've been bringing it a lot on um, trips in warmer weather places like tropical places like Singapore or Miami when I went there this was perfect because it gives it kind of like a cruise vibe i don't know i don't know it just like somehow just works with so many things when i saw it in the store in the on in the soho store i just fell in love with it and i was like oh my gosh i need this so it came home with me right, the next bag i have with me is this chloe drew bag it is the mini size i believe not the super mini one where it's like about this big but this bag is um, definitely fits quite a bit and it was actually a gift from my fiance so um, yeah I think it was like he, get, he get, got it for me two years ago or so maybe three but I loved it I wore it a lot but now might be time for me to sell this guy we're almost through this we have a couple more I think this is bag number 21 
and it's my Gucci Marmon in velvet. I wore this so, so much, and this was actually a gift from my fiance as well. We got it in London um, for my birthday two years ago, so 2018. Yeah, and I've been wearing it a lot. Um, I personally put like a little, like, rent the runway, um, like, tag thing here to clip the um, straps together. That way I could have like a shorter strap because I wanted this part to kind of hang in front to give it just like a little bit of a different vibe. And um, I just wear it like this over the shoulder or cross body. So um, when I wear it, I typically wear it like this. Um, and it just looks super cool, it's super easy, and you know, it goes with really anything. So I do bring this a lot when I travel because I don't have to bring so many bags and this goes with so many different outfits that I feel like it's a safe one to bring with me. The next one is also a gift from my fiance and uh, this is the Gucci um, Super Mini and this can be worn as a belt bag um, or you can wear it as like a regular shoulder bag and this is like the only red bag in my collection as of now and I think that for me personally I don't really wear red a lot so it only makes sense for me to have a small red bag and not like a large one so I think this is perfect the second to last bag is what I got for my birthday last year and again uh, this was a gift from Kevin and he got this for me from Dior they didn't have that many in New York City they didn't have many left so um, he definitely like had to like make a quick decision and set just up since then I've been wearing it quite a bit and I love that it has this like chunkier guitar strap that gives this like such an edge and um, I don't know there's something about this bag that I love the last bag that I have to share with you guys and it's this Prada um, Safiano mini bag and it's in this orange color I believe it's called papaya and this I had it for so so long and honestly it is such a good bag to have if you want like whenever I want something more of like a pop of color I always reach for this guy and it's really great for if you just want to run errands and stuff it fits it doesn't fit an iPhone anymore it fit like an iPhone when you know we were using like iPhone 4s um, now we're like an iPhone like 11 or whatever so it doesn't fit a phone anymore but it still fits a wallet and it's really I think for much more of like a lightweight Erin running type of purse. Guys, thank you for sticking with me for still watching. Uh, that is the end of this video, and um, I didn't. I've never really counted, but I guess I have 24 luxury bags, designer bags in my collection, and um, I do love every single one of them for a different reason. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to know down in the comments below which is your favorite bag that I own. And uh, if you want to hear a more in-depth review about any one of these bags, I'll be happy to do it. So just leave me a comment or send me a DM on Instagram. And I will end this video here. I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye guys.